Between the two world wars, a particular group of architects worked in Como. They were stimulated by the fervor that was shaking the architectural world in Europe and started designing modern type houses inspired by the rational principles of good living. Complete with water, gas, light and heating systems, they were more healthy, functional and economical. From the end of the 1920s to the beginning of the 1940s, the so-called rationalist district was built along the Trento and Trieste lakeside area. This included private buildings and sport facilities. In fact, according to the town plan, the area around Via Sinigalia was destined to sport and leisure. The tour begins with the beautiful Novocomo complex. It was built between 1927 and 1929, based on a project by Giuseppe Terragni, and it is the first example of rationalist architecture in Italy, and as such, it has been the object of numerous studies over the years. It is divided in five floors, with eight apartments on each floor. It is very plain, with no decorations, and is based mainly on a play of volumes. Unfortunately, the original colors have been altered. In Terrani's original design, they were all in tones of yellow and brown, with the darker colors accentuating the inside part of the balconies. The complex caused a lot of dispute. A commission was even nominated to decide if it should be demolished. But a strenuous defense by all the most popular architecture magazines saved the building. Another precious rationalist building in Como is the Sinigalia swimming pool. It includes a 25 by 12 meter long pool with a 4 meter deep diving pit. The room is brightened by great glass windows and is covered in Laza marble. The trampoline is enveloped by a reinforced concrete and glass etc. that closes the main prospect. The swimming pool has been recently renovated. Just a little further ahead is Casa Frigerio, on a small lot between Via Sinigalia and Viale Rosselli. It is one of Giuseppe Terrani's latest works, and it represents the low building impact tradition typical of the small villas along the lake. It is divided in four floors, and each has three apartments. The facades represent relentless movement, Play in volumes underlined by the relation between transparent elements, metal structures and concrete walls, designed to provide light also for the central apartment. The seat of the Lario Rowing Club is the fourth structure in Como's rationalist district. It was designed by engineer Gianni Mantero and it extends along the side of the lake, illuminated by a great glass window. Foremost is the armored cement trampoline, studied to better exploit the properties of a material that was new at the time. Inside are the training room, the rowing pavilion, the gym, and various wide rooms. The rowing pool for four was the first built in Italy, and it is still in use. The First World War Memorial closes the rationalist tour of Como. It is at the end of Viale Vittorio Veneto, in a crucial prospective location between the lake and the city. It was designed in the 1930s by Giuseppe Terragni, with the assistance of his brother Attilio, and it was inspired by a drawing by futurist architect Antonio Santillia, also from Como, who died in that war.